Hi, I'm Esme Zanjkowski and I'm a PhD student at the University of Queensland and I'm doing my PhD in neuroscience, specifically learning and memory. I did the brain bee because my science teacher sat us all down in neuroscience week and said, hey, you guys should do this quiz. And I kind of, you know, just did it randomly and I ended up being one of the top students from the school. From that moment on, we were given this amazing booklet full of all sorts of brain facts. And that's when I truly started to see the people around me um, in a very different light. And I was like, wow, I want to learn more about neuroscience. I want to learn more about people and the way they interact and how experience like really makes us who we are. My favorite memory of the brain bee is actually being so focused on the competition that I didn't even listen during the welcome speech. I was so focused on retaining all the information I had on the brain that I didn't want any new memories. But I also really enjoyed touring around the lab. So we got to see um, what all the various different scientists did. There were people working with bees, with mice that glowed. It was crazy. The week-long internship I did after the Brain Bee Challenge really gave me an insight into the day-to-day -day lives of neuroscientists. And now that I'm a PhD student myself, I can really understand how disruptive that would have been to their schedules. I'm just super grateful that they were there to support and encourage me. The Brain Bee actually is what started my career goals. Um, ever since I did the Brain Bee, I was like, wow, I want to become a neuroscientist. So one piece of advice I'd like to give is to do lots of work experience. There's no one way to study the brain. People can study physics, math, engineering, biology, and all come together because they're interested in studying how the brain works. So try lots of things, go to different labs, and hopefully you'll be able to find your own way to contribute to neuroscience.